Good evening. Former neighbors of Michelle and Victoria Martins took the stand today in the trial of Fabian Gonzalez, painting a chaotic picture of what happened after 10-year-old Victoria had been murdered. News 13's Ariana Kraft is live downtown at District Court with today, details of today's testimony. Ariana. Seven witnesses testified, the majority of them former neighbors of the Martins family, one after one telling the jury similar stories about the loud banging and yelling that woke them up after Victoria was killed. Michelle came around the corner and she had blood all on her face and her shirt looked ripped. It, she didn't look normal. She said she killed my daughter. In the early morning hours of August 24th, 2016, one neighbor testified that she saw Fabian Gonzalez shouting for someone to call the cops, saying someone was after them. The defense is trying to convince the jury that Gonzalez's cousin, Jessica Kelly, killed Victoria and acted alone in trying to cover up the crime. Neighbors testified today they saw Kelly carrying Victoria in a blanket the night she was killed. Jessica came out of the apartment holding who I know now is Victoria, and she was wrapped in a blanket, and she came down to pretty much the little landing, and then kind of stopped, yes. When you say the little landing? Yeah, right, right. right there, and then kind of turned around and went back. That woman's husband also testified today, something we haven't heard during the trial. Vic Victor Rojas said as Kelly was coming down the stairs with Victoria, she said, are you ready? And Gonzalez responded, no, not yet. The state then called a woman to the stand who was also dating Gonzalez at the time of Victoria's murder. She testified that at one point he had brought her to the Martin's apartment when no one was home. Some of the neighbors got emotional on the stand today, remembering Victoria and the day of her murder. One woman said she even had to go to counseling because of it. Back to you. Ariana, thank you. Prosecutors are working to prove that Gonzalez created such a dangerous environment in the Martins' home that it led to Victoria's death. If convicted of reckless child abuse resulting in death, Gonzalez could be sentenced to life in prison.